We are still weeks from cooler weather, but meteorologist Alex Calamia is already thinking about the fall garden. He shares what we are planning in Gandy's garden here in mid-August. Mid-August is brutal. I mean, there are so many plants this time of the year that just struggle. I go into the garden, some are doing well, a lot aren't, but I'm actually going to be planting more stuff in the garden. And I know it goes against all logic. Why plant more stuff in place of the stuff that isn't doing well to begin with? Well, it's for a good reason. We're actually thinking fall because if you start planting certain fall crops now, it's going to give it enough time to establish so that way when that cooler weather comes, it can really just hit the ground running. And we're also going to plant some more summer stuff too because we've got a lot more warmth left. On average, the first night below 60 degrees in the South Carolina Midlands is actually September 8th. And in just eight weeks from now, our average high temperature will drop 10 degrees down to 80. The first freeze typically happens in November, so summer crops that are planted in August still have three months to grow, and fall crops planted now will start feeling those cooler temperatures soon. With all of the rain that we've gotten so far this summer, I really think it's going to be difficult for us to get extreme heat. So I have a good feeling that if I start planting things, things like lettuce and cauliflower now, they'll actually do pretty well once September, October comes around and we get those cooler days. But then we also have things like sunflowers that only take two months to really reach their prime. And it's a tough choice, I know, but there's only so much room in the garden. And I decided the watermelon, it's time for it to go because it's not doing so well. And also the squash is getting so overgrown. So I'm gonna cut a couple of those vines and just push them away. We're just gonna clean out this entire garden bed. It's got weeds, it's just a mess. And this is where we're going to plant some of the sunflowers. And I also wanna plant some of the cauliflower here as well. On our Facebook group, gardeners are telling us that they're planning and planting for fall. Cedric says they're just focusing on rutabaga, collards, and onions this year so they can focus on good yields instead of a big variety. Meanwhile, Corey says they're planting summer crops still, like spaghetti squash and pumpkins, and holding off on those cool weather plants for a little longer. Dorinda's in the planning phase. She says she's cleaning up the garden and ordering seeds. I'm meteorologist Alex Calamia. Happy gardening. All right, thank you for that update, Alex. The watermelons are out but can't wait for the cauliflower this fall. All right, we got to check in with Alex right now. So you said around September uh, or September, October, maybe the cauliflower will be able to, to get some of that. Well, not quite. Um, it will be starting to grow at that point, though, assuming that we don't get extreme heat. Now, could we see extreme heat to come? Well, so far, you know, 98 degrees was the highest we've been. It hasn't been an extremely hot summer, but 100 degree heat has happened in September 10 times. Now, the good news is all of those 10 times we did hit 100 earlier on in the year, so it had already been a hot year. Uh, we haven't hit 100 degrees if we don't hit it this year three other times in the past 10 years. So it does happen, but on average, we see six days in Columbia with 100 degree heat each year. So typically we do hit the triple digits. This year, we just might not.